Hi everyone. First of all, I like to introduce myself. I am Shiny and I am from West Bengal, India. I am a DAD research scholar. Currently, I am doing PhD in asymmetric organic catalysis in the University of Cologne, Germany. First of all, I am really thankful to Shumon for giving me this opportunity to discuss with you regarding that scholarship and my experience related to this. Okay, first of all, don't be confused with the name. That is whether that is dad or dad. Basically, it's the same. In Germany, people used to call as dad. In India, people used to call as dad. So whatever. Today, I would like to explain you some more details about that scholarship for PhD. That is, how to apply for that scholarship, what are the basic steps, some tips to win the scholarship, some basic strategy, so on and so forth. Because if you are planning to do PhD in Germany with your own scholarship, that scholarship is one of the most prestigious, fully funded scholarship. And well, Yes, of course, the whole process is highly competitive because this is an annual scholarship. So each year they will select maximum two to three students for each subject from each country. Let's explore in some more details why it's so competitive. Because Germany becoming a magnet for international students from all over the world. As you all know, Germany is a higher education paradise. Unlike in any other country in Germany, you will find many worldwide ranked universities and Germany has huge fundings for research grants. Besides this, you can finish PhD in Germany within four years, whereas in other country you need to minimum five to six years. Moreover, unlike the other countries, you don't have to do any coursework during your PhD course. So after coming in Germany, you can directly focus on your research. Nevertheless, Germany has a long and rich history, dynamic, relaxing lifestyle with excellent quality. So for all of the reason, so many applicants will be there for DAD scholarship. So why is that? The full form of DAD is German Academic Exchange Service. So that scholarship will cover monthly 1200 euros for the PhD students. Not only that, they will also cover health insurance, personal liability insurance, accident insurance, travel insurance. Okay, I forget to mention that under certain circumstances, scholarship holder may receive monthly rent subsidy also. So maybe you are thinking now, do you need any skill for German language? No, you don't have to. In fact, once you will get the DAD scholarship, they will give the full payment for your four months German language course after coming in Germany. So this is an extra opportunity you are getting for being DAD scholarship holder. But don't worry, although you are learning German, you don't need to carry your PhD in German language. It's absolutely fine if you continue your PhD in English language. The next question comes when the application procedure starts every year. This annual scholarship which opens in August and closes in mid of the October for each year. Then what is the first things you need to do for that scholarship? You have to search for professors in your field who will supervise during your PhD studies. And one suggestion for this, try to approach reputed and renowned professors in your research field. Because that scholarship will also give preference in the time of the selection process if you have applied to the big shot. I mean, well-known professors. I agree, it's not easy to get off a letter within a month. For this, I would suggest start applying minimum seven to eight months before the application process starts. Then there is high chance to get the offer letter before the deadline of DAD application procedure. So what are the requirements in the DAD application form? First of all, you have to apply via online. In order to apply, you must register in the DAD portal so that you can get access to the application form and you have to apply for the program named Research Grants 
doctoral program in Germany. The DAT application form will ask for your research proposal, your CV, your confirmation letter from your chosen supervisor, all educational degree certificates with transcript, your achievements, your previous work experience certificate, your previous publication if you have any. Most importantly, they will ask for two recommendation letter. One thing keep your mind that these two recommendation letter must be very very strong. And it's essential that letters of the reference must be written by the university professors with a doctoral degree. In this case, I will also suggest you try to take the recommendation letter from those professors whom you know very well and vice versa. Again, in this case also, I will suggest you to take the recommendation letter from renowned professors, I mean who is already famous and reputed in his research field in your home country. But always keep in mind, like you both should know each other through your educational purpose very well. It is always best if you did any master project or internship with the professor so that the professor can write about your work performance, your interest and motivation towards research, your personal quality. Okay, one thing don't forget that recommendation letter must have signature and office stamp and must be with recent date with sealed envelope. So, once you are done with the fill up all the requirements in the DAT portal, you have to upload the whole PDF application. Then the hard copy of it should be sent to TAD office in Delhi along with two recommendation letter. So this is the whole application process. Okay, then obviously next question will be what is the selection criteria? Mainly two things. One, quality of the research proposal on which you are going to work and the second thing is of course applicants academic achievements. In this regards, I will say something those literally help you a lot for getting the scholarship. Number one, if you have any publications during your master's or during your internship, not necessary you have to be first author. It can be any authorship that reflects actually you have enough work experience so forth. Also, you have some initial idea about how research works how much dedication research needs, how much patience you need to have, blah, blah, blah. Number two, you will get more preference if you have worked in different lab. Like you can do various internship during your summer vacation. Always keep in mind that more research projects you have done, that means more exposure or experience you have. So definitely that committee will give you more preference in the time of selection. Number three, Try to write research proposal on such topics which has some direct application towards the society. Like in chemistry, there is high chance to get scholarship if you are applying for organic and inorganic field rather than physical. Even your proposal can be related to bio-organic or bio-inorganic, it will be also highly appreciable. So what are the steps for the selection process for that? There are basically two steps for evaluation. At first, after submission your application, that committee from your home country as well as Germany will go through all the applications and based on your CV, your research proposal, your publication, they will make a short list after screening for few students. If you are selected, then you will get the confirmation by DAD around first week or the second week of January via mail that you are selected or not for the next round. That means the interview. So the next step is the interview. And this interview will be held in Delhi in that center. Normally, every year interview held on last week of January or the first week of February. And finally, if you crack the interview, you will be informed by that mid of the March or starting of the April. So basically the whole DAD application process takes more or less one year. Like if the application starts from August, then first round selection will be in January and the final round selection ends on April. 
So now I'm talking about the most important part. What about the interview? Okay, let's begin with a very common and simple question. How many interviewer will be there in the panel? Well, in my time, four person were there. Among them, three were the German professor and one was Indian professor. So what question can they ask in the time of interview? At first, prepare yourself in a good way for the interview so that you don't stammer when you get the questions. They will ask basically from your research proposal, what proposal all about, what will be the outcome and so on. Then some basic questions from your subjects can be also asked related to your proposal. Always try to give the answer in a very logical way. That's very, very important. Try to be specific with your answers. They can also even ask what specialty about the city, about the university, where you have applied for your PhD. Why you are interested in doing PhD in Germany? Another important thing, keep in mind always, you should be very, very confident. And your body language should be nicely presentable. Don't get panic in the time of interview. Trust me. I can share my experience. Germans are so friendly. They will not harass you for a single time. Try to interact with them as much as you can in a very spontaneous way. Because they are also looking forward for cultural attitude. That means your communication skills, how you are comfortable with the other people. Last but not the least, I will say set your mind in the time of interview such way that it seems you are there in a group for a discussion of your project, not for the so-called tough interview. Okay, so I hope I have explained you in a very details the whole procedures, that scholarship. I think it's very clear to you about the steps what you have to follow during the application. So today we are in the July. So in August, the application procedure will be open. I'm pretty sure if you are following that what I am briefly explained to you now, you are also going to win the tag that's research scholar. So I wish you all the best and good luck. Maybe we are going to meet in Germany very soon. Till then, bye bye.